Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about my perfume declutters and empties. So I decluttered some fragrances last summertime and I never really mentioned or talked about them in my videos. So I let go of six fragrances, not because I wasn't loving them anymore or I wasn't really giving them a lot of wear, but because my family members, my mom and my sister-in-law and some family friend, they loved the fragrances that I just, you know, decided to give them away to family because they enjoy it and they love it so much. So I let go of Narciso Ombre by Narciso Rodriguez. That was a newer addition to my collection and I was really excited to try that one during the summertime. I was able to give it a couple of wear, but my sister-in-law really fell in love with that scent and I gave it to her. I also gave her Twilly de Hermes EDP by the House of Hermes. Um, that is a gorgeous soapy tuberose floral scent with that ginger that was a perfect scent i have to say if you live in a tropical country like the philippines where it's hot and humid those fragrances narciso ombre and especially tuli de hermes works really really well i was kind of scared of wearing tuli de hermes because i thought the florals would be more prominent and more dominant and it would end up smelling really soapy or shampooy but my gosh, that fragrance really blooms in the heat and it's amazing. You smell clean and fresh, but still very, you know, elegant and classy. I also gave to my sister-in-law the Rollerball, the oil perfumery impression of Love Don't Be Shy. So I now have a decant from Stephanie, my perfume fairy. She gave me a decant of Love Don't Be Shy from Killian and when I remember smelling the impression the oil impression it smells really really close to love don't be shy but you know the original one just has a little bit different kind of a dry down it's smoother but you know in terms of the whole scent profile they're very similar and for my mom I let her have Dolce & Gabbana Limperatrice number three I know my mom she loves Dolce & Gabbana fragrances and it's actually the reason why I was drawn to Dolce & Gabbana fragrances when I was able to earn my own money and I could buy perfumes because she loved them she that's the house that she really adores aside from Dior so I know when I let her smell Limperatrice she fell in love with it it's the kind of scent that she described as you know like an easy scent to wear like after the shower so my mom loves to wear fragrances or colognes or body mist after the shower and she wears a different fragrance when she goes out so that's her like go-to after the shower scent or before bed she also really liked Josardi's Donna EDP so that fragrance actually the fragrances that I brought with me I was really excited to wear them and really you know enjoy them during the Philippine summer heat they are the scent profiles that make me feel you know happy and cheerful and lively and bright and clean and they are the scents that I know will not turn sour on me if I do sweat a lot and um I was really excited to wear Donna EDP, but what I noticed with that one is, yes, it still is that, you know, woody, musky, kind of a lemony, yuzu kind of scent profile. It's very fresh and bright, yes, but I expected that one actually to last longer during, you know, the warmer seasons, you know, hot tropical weather. But, you know, that one I had to really overspray and had to respray and reapply during the middle of the day. It's, it was really weird. I expected that one to last longer, actually. And the other fragrance I think I left with my mom is the teeny tiny bit that was left of Aphrodisiac. Uh, from Dua Fragrances, that's their impression or their clone of Psychedelic Love. And that was the reason why I just grew tired of that kind of scent profile because I wore Aphrodisiac like the whole summertime with the other fragrances I had to, but that was one of my most used fragrances, so I got tired of it. I think the last one I let go of, which I gave to a family friend, was Agent Salt and Citrus by Teodoro Scalotinis. So it was this family friend that helped us with, you know, a lot of the bookings for when we went to Camigan Island because there were still, you know, some restrictions and some requirements because of COVID when we went there. So that family friend really helped us a lot. And my mom was like, hey, do you have some perfume that you can give to this, you know, person? And I was like, what are you letting me just, I'm not going to 
going to give away my perfume. So just, I, but I was like, okay, I will let this person have Asian salt and citrus because I can just repurchase that fragrance if I really want to. So um, it's a perfect scent. I was really excited to wear that one too because I knew we were going to go to the island and enjoy, you know, being in the ocean. But, you know, I, I wasn't able to wear that actually when I was there because I gave that one to the family friend. So that is a repurchase worthy fragrance, which I will be repurchasing um, soon, hopefully. Now let us go to the perfume empty. So these are the full bottles, travel sizes, and samples that I emptied um, during the last month or last couple of weeks for the samples. I'm going to start with these samples. So these are the bunch that I recently finished. This is Dylan Purple by Versace and I talked about this in my perfume wish list. I really wanted to try this fragrance when I saw it on Fragrantica. Um, it's a nice scent actually. I really enjoy it. Um, I wore this one I think two or three times. It's a nice fruity scent it's bright it's perfect for spring and summer but you know at the when I finished my sample I decided okay it's nice I almost bought a full bottle of this actually when I first tried this one but um, I decided against it it was it's a nice scent but I do have other um, fruity fragrances in my collection that I can enjoy and wear so I don't really need a full bottle of it so this is Versace's Dylan Purple. So here I have Minajesty's, Nicki Minaj, Minajesty's Exotic. I got the sample from Veronica Sess. So I d just was able to wear this one once because there was very little left in the sample. It's a very nice fruity scent actually. It's almost like shampoo-y, floral, fruity. I really enjoyed wearing this one. Um, I can't get this one now. I think this one is a discontinued scent. So that was one of the reasons why when I saw this, I just sprayed it once or twice. Really loved it. I knew I couldn't get a bottle of it so I just kept it. But, you know, right now I'm going to enjoy all of my fragrances and samples. So this was an, a very fun scent to wear. Um, if I could get a full bottle, I would get it. But really, you know, I have other fruity floral fragrances I have in my collection. So I really enjoyed wearing this one. This is Exotic Minajesty. I finished this one actually last year. Um, the end of last year. This is Wanted Girl by Azaro. Um, I decided to just use up the sample when I knew I was getting the um, partial bottle of Wanted Girl. This is Cassiopeia by Tiziana Terenzi. Um, I had this sample I think since 2020 or early 2021 and I was only able to give this one a single wear because there was very little left. Um, I this was yeah I expected something more from this fragrance because you know a lot of people you know love the Ziana Terenzi fragrances especially from this collection the Luna collection and I heard a lot of great things about Cassiopeia it was a nice fresh floral I really can't remember the scent profile but um yeah I it was nice you know nothing really mind-blowing it has it actually really reminds me a little bit of Toy 2 by Moschino not they're not similar scents they don't I don't think they have the same notes, but you know, it's that kind of a scent profile. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Enjoyed it while I wore it once, but you know, not something that I want to get a full bottle of. It's nice, but it was really honestly forgettable. And it could be because I was only able to give it, you know, a single wear. But yeah, it was nice while I wore it. Here is a Dua fragrance. I wore this one, I think, only twice. This is Sour Apple Candy. Um, I was given this a sample when I purchased some Dua fragrances. It was a free sample that I got. Um, it's a nice, musky, woody, sour apple, you know, candy scent. It's It really smells the way that it's named, you know, Sour Apple Candy. But um, I actually wanted to get a full bottle of this when I first got the sample, but you know, when I wore this one last week, my husband said something very weird. He said like, what did you spray? It smells like earwax. Like he can say the craziest and darndest of things when he describes my fragrances, you know? Sometimes he says, I smell like a dying old lady or like an old lady, or I smell like, I don't know. He describes my fragrances really in a very very weird way and this one he said earwax and with it i don't know this one doesn't even have honey or wax or anything in it it could be because of that um fruity uh note that it has with the musk in here i don't know but i think he has a thing with musk because he always describes them as earwax he also said that when i wore um the musk by essential parfums although i understood what he meant because that one had honey and beeswax but you know i just don't take what he says you know i take it with a grain of salt because i don't earwax come on now 
so yeah i was turned off when he said that so i didn't really finish this one was a really really fun scent to wear i really want to get a full bottle of this this is irresistible edp by Givenchy. this is a sample that i got from um, canada kim and i when i smelled this right i immediately wanted to get a full bottle but i just can't find it here so that's the only reason why i don't have it fruity floral but it's bright and fresh it's not a forgettable kind of fruity floral yeah, i still want to get a full bottle of it if i can find one so this is toy 2 yes this is a fragrance that i added to my wish list and i actually had a sample of this with um uh, the care package from Kim um, together with Irresistible and I really enjoyed it too and this was a another sample from Claire Smith and I wore this one twice with this whole um, um, decant it's perfect for this time of year spring and summer although we have the fake spring still winter kind of season right now um, this is so beautiful I still felt the same way you know when i smelled this one for the first time in 2021 and when i wore this one like a couple of weeks ago it's so beautiful it's i don't know how to explain it but it's like this fresh out of the shower but it's not shampoo or soapy but it has it gives me that kind of you know feeling when i smell this and i just love the fruity musky does it have woody notes but i just love the whole scent profile that um i will be getting a full bottle of this so we have the 30 ml here and i think we also have a tester bottle online so this is a fragrance that i will be getting for sure and the last sample that i emptied this one is california reverie this is a sample that i finished a long time ago but i just kept it just like with wanted girl so this was one of the fragrances that um i that was in my wish list from van cleef and arpels um it's a white floral clean girl kind of a scent profile i think this one has neroli orange blossom you know those kind of scent profiles those kind of um, um fragrance notes um but it can work perfectly you know throughout the whole year it's a signature scent worthy kind of scent and i tend to love van cleef and arpels um fragrances but you know i just realized that you know i have other white floral fragrances that i prefer and that i already own um that can have that same feel as this one so yeah i i had one last wear of this because i kept a little bit for when you know i will finally decide if i want to get a full bottle but yeah it's it's nice but you know i'm I think if they're going to discontinue this one and they're going to say that you won't be able to find it anymore, maybe I would get a full bottle. Um, I can still find this online here in coolshop.is, but yeah, I won't be getting a full bottle of it. Not this time, not this year, I think, but yeah, it's nice. It, I really want it, but you know, I don't need it. So this is California Reverie. So I'm going to start with the Kayali fragrances. I think I mentioned these two in my um, perfume rotation video when I talked about some soft gourmands. So the verdict, uh, I will be getting Kayali Vanilla 28. I should have gotten it when it was still $85 or 80 then it was $85 and now they're 103 108 like seriously for the 50 ml like ugh, that's a $15 increase like uh, the Kayali fragrances themselves I find them very expensive and now they increase their prices like seriously and then now they have this yum pistachio fragrance coming out 21st or 23rd and I really want a full bottle of it I'm not so sure because it's expensive and if I do get it um, I will get a bottle of Vanilla 28. Like, Vanilla 28 is that fragrance that I have a love and hate relationship with. It's a complicated relationship. I just watched Lulu's video today about um, fragrances that she has a complicated relationship with. And this is um, that fragrance for me. Like, I love the scent profile. I enjoy it. I know I can wear it all year but i just think that it's expensive i have other fragrances with a similar scent profile but every time i smell this one every time i wear it i just want to have a full bottle here i have still by jennifer lopez i was trying to keep this one actually i really didn't want to empty it and use it because i felt like i was lucky i had this one in this bottle i think i heard veronica says mentioned before a couple of years ago that she heard that the ones with the name jennifer Jennifer Lopez and Cursive, they were the um, original formulation. So I just felt like, oh, I'm so lucky I have this one. Because online here, 
they have the Jennifer Lopez in you know like the same font as still so I can't find it anymore in this formulation I think so but yeah this is a repurchase worthy fragrance like I have been wearing this one to work lately when I decided to finally just use this one up it's a great everyday scent like for everything scent and it's not really it's is it the most mind-blowing scent ever no it's not I mean you can definitely find other white floral tea kind of fragrance you know like that's very wearable but, but this one is such an easy pleasant comfortable kind of a fragrance to wear for me and it works for you know if you work in healthcare this can work really well it's that scent profile that keeps you smelling clean and smelling good throughout the whole day without it turning sour or turning funky on you if you sweat a lot so this is still by jennifer lopez a repurchase worthy if i will be doing a haul I, this one would be one of the fragrances i'll be buying together with a staple in my collection yes i am edp by casherelle so i can no longer find this one in stores we only have the pink and the purple one and i think i know i'm getting scared if this one is getting discontinued but yeah i'll be repurchasing these two if i do decide to do a haul um sometime um this one is i love love edp by cheap and chic moschino i hate this bottle like I, I lost my cap it fell it broke into three different pieces and this color thingy um broke like two years ago this is like the i love tacky bottles and weird looking bottles um, i mean i like this bottle it looks like olive oil but i hate it because it's so unstable it falls and you know it i'm just i'm lucky at this point that the bottle is not broken so this one is that sweet citrusy kind of a woody fragrance so it's citrusy musky but it's not like a yellow citrus kind of a scent it's all about orange like sweet orangey citrus some sugar notes in here as well and some woody musky notes in the base this is a fragrance that i've been wearing a lot during my morning runs and um, i really enjoy it and this was also one of my most complimented fragrances will i be repurchasing no i have a lot of not a lot but i have other citrus fragrances that i'll be giving more focus to so yeah this is this was fun when, while it lasted i hate the bottle because it uh, i just hate it so this one is elizabeth arden's um ginger lily so i admit that i was um really neglecting this one said so, uh, last year i used this as room spray and everything but when my um dent was up to here i decided to hey i'm just gonna use it and it, it's so weird because like before i was like oh yeah it's a nice scent you know it's like a forgettable kind of scent and you know, i'm just gonna use it as room spray or linen spray but when i finally decided to give this you know the attention that it deserved i fell in love with it it's a very comfortable scent like this one the like these two are perfect for you know work when you work in you know healthcare or if you want those fragrances that just keep you smelling good and fresh throughout the whole day without being overpowering nothing too sweet nor too floral or too much of something they are great uh, as being those kind of fragrances and i really enjoyed this one and um i actually regretted not giving this more attention when while i still had the full bottle or the you know more of it left but yeah I was happy that I was able to give it the justice and the love that it deserved. So this one is Vanille Oriental. Um, this was in my work bag and I just abused and used this one and <laughs> I finished this one up so fast. So it's a caramel vanilla with some almost tonka bean, almost like a hint of spice in the base. I really enjoy this. It's that sugary kind of vanilla. So it's basically vanilla and caramel and that's the whole scent profile. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, I really want to repurchase. I want to get a full bottle of it, but um, I have other vanilla fragrances and am planning if I do a haul soon, I'm planning to get more vanilla fragrances. So yeah, I really enjoy this, but I have other vanilla fragrances in my collection that I will be giving more um, attention to. This one I still have left. This isn't really an empty, but this will probably be used up by the time I put this video up. So this is Frosted Cream by Zara. And this is a scent profile that I have uh, another fragrance very similar to it. It's Mont Blanc Signature ADP. So this one is, I have a dedicated video. It's more of a powdery, soft, sweet kind of a fragrance. Smells like, you know, 
clouds like fluffy sweet clouds with whipped cream um it's a very nice scent to wear an everyday kind of scent something that you can wear also to work so yeah these are very easy to wear fragrances and, and that's the reason why i was able to empty these fragrances so fast is because they are fragrances you, you know i can easily wear to work because they're they stay closer to the skin and they last and they keep me smelling good and you know they're not that they're not cloying they're not too much of everything so yeah these were basically my work scents and that's why i emptied them so fast so this is frosted cream by zara i won't be repurchasing only because i have another fragrance mont blanc signature that smells very similar to it but the only difference they have is that mont blanc signature has some resins and some more woody notes in the base so that is it for today's video i shared with you guys my perfume empties and some declutters that i did and i really enjoyed having these fragrances while you know i wore them and as for the repurchase worthy definitely still by jennifer lopez yes i am edp by casherelle and a Hopefully I can purchase soon is Vanilla 28 by Kayali. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much once again. As I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in my next videos. Mm -hmm.